when you do research, you'll find out that that's owned by the bankers. Yes, As a matter of fact, the certificate is on banknote paper, yep. the same paper that they use to make the so-called money, fiat money. Yeah, it's a warehouse receipt. It's a warehouse receipt. So you, we pretty much own lock, stock, and barrel, and that's why you Howard Shire got to come back and liberate us. Gun. And that's why the ultimate thing they want to do is put the microchip inside of you, and the end can't come until that microchip is, is until the, the mark of the beast is implemented on the people, that microchip. Yeah, and, and don't talk about how you, nah, man, you, you guys are going off, I'm free. You only have the illusion right. of freedom. Liberty is not freedom. Right. That's right, liberty. Liberty right. is it, not freedom. Uh, you can expound on you that. You know, liberty is not freedom. Liberty is when you, when you, like when you, when you stay with your parents, you know, and, and you ask your parents if you can go such and such, and such you got to get permission. That's liberty. You know, freedom is a totally different beast. That's a totally different word. That's right. You know? Yeah. That's right. You got something else? Uh, no, that's it. All right, so um, I want to I wanna read this real quick because, like I said, bottom line, that's what they want to do. These international bankers, now that they, they got the whole world pretty much in debt, you know, that's why these other uh, uh, nations are, are pulling out of, uh, of the dollar, you know, but especially here in America, the people here that's in, Amer that in America are so in debt that now they want to put the, the, the microchip in people to uh, fulfill what's written in the law to where when, when the slave uh, wanted to become a perpetual slave, they would take him to the door and put an all through his ear, you know, and then that would signify that that, that person was a, was a perpetual slave to this, to this master. And that's what they want to do. When they put that microchip in people, that's the final stage uh, of, of, of the New World Order. That's the all uh, written about in the law. Um, as a matter of fact, can you get that uh, in, uh, the, in the law? Because the microchip is the modern day ool that uh, you heard Apostle Elder Ramlap spoke about. Okay? And once that's put in you, perpetually you are saying that you're Rothschild's slave. All right? And you're violating the scripture where it says in the law, thou shalt not, thou shalt not worship, thou shalt not. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, him only shall thou serve. You know? So we're supposed to only worship Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, the, the Heavenly Father Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. We're not supposed to be worshiping the Rothschilds or the bankers. And like I said, there's no such thing as you being free. You're not free. You just have the illusion of freedom, which the illusion of freedom is not freedom. Okay? Yahweh Shai is the only one that can make us free, man. And it begins with the truth. That's why in the book of John 8 and 32, it says, know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yep. So it starts with the truth first. Then Yahweh Shai is physically coming to liberate us from this devil, to free us from the clutches of this devil. All right? And, you know, uh, e no matter how high you get in the so-called white man society, you're not free. Even, i got to mention him, the uh, most recent example is Prince. You know, the last thing that he... Uh, posted on his int Instagram was just when you thought you were safe. Right. And then they popped him. Because he, he, he thought he was free because he won that lawsuit and he was making all that money. And they showed you that, look, they can get to anybody. Okay? Hey, they got him on the elevator. They got him on the elevator. And um, he said the elevator was a devil yep. in controversy, man. Yep, yep. You know, so that's how they got him. He was afraid of that elevator, man. Don't let that elevator bring you down. And the elevator brought him down. Go ahead, bro. Yep. Uh, this is Exodus 21. I'm jumping around. Exodus 21, 2. If thou buy an Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out uh, free for nothing. Verse 4. If his master have given him a wife, and, and then Oh, let me say this. This devil refuses to let us go. Just like the Pharaoh of old, who refused to let the... Uh, uh, the Israelites go. These bankers, they refuse to let us go, which proves they know the truth. They know exactly who you so-called Negroes are, you West Indians, you Puerto Ricans. They know exactly who you are. They know you're the Israelites, but they're not going to let you go. Part of letting you go is telling you who you are, right? right? Yep. They're not going to do that. Go ahead, brother. Uh, verse 5, it says, And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door. Mm -hmm. 
or unto the door post, and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. And the modern day door post is what? Those are uh, concentration camps. Because that's where they're going to uh, uh, put that all inside of you, which is, uh, <laughs> which is that microchip. And you're going to be a perpetual slave, yep. you know, till the day you die. All right? So that's the vision that the elites want for you, which thank goodness for you, Howard Shire returning, man. You don't put a stop to that. And that's that scripture in the book of Job where it says when he's ready to eat, then the Most High shall rain uh, fire upon him. That's, right. that's right. that nuclear missiles and the chariots and with the angels bringing that fire. That's right. Uh, this is uh, the book of Revelation 14. Because if you take that microchip, this is the penalty for it. There's no repentance from taking the microchip, all right? So the, the uh, mark of the beast is not an embargo. It's not a, a Christianity or none of them philosophies or none of that crap. Because the majority of, 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 of Jake has been in somehow or another involved in a church, all right? So it's not, it's not Christianity or Catholicism or none of that crap. It's the, chip. It's the microchip. Uh, Revelation 14 and 9, and if you take it, if you take that chip, if you take that mark, it says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of, of his names, of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that, that keep the commandment of the Most High and the faith of Yahushai. All right, so pretty much if you take that mark, you pretty much you're just going to die in the nuclear fire. Uh, you're going in the chariots. That's right. You're always in the chariots. Because it says they shall be tormented with fire in the presence of the Lamb and his angels. So that's them chariots. When you always shall come in the chariot and the other angels in, the, in their chariots, they're going to shoot fire on, these, on you people. All right, you people that are not right, you people that have sold out to the beasts, that have accepted his mark, that worship the beast, which essentially you're worshiping the bankers, you're going to receive that fire from those chariots or the missiles. All right? And uh, between the chariots and the missiles, that's going to create that lake of fire. That's going to make America that lake of fire that the scriptures speak about. I don't know if you have uh, um, anything uh, else. Well, I, mean I could read on. You got something else? Oh, while you're getting some, um, yeah, I had this for a while. Let me just bring this out. Uh, this is the definition of microchip implant from Wikipedia. It says a human microchip implant is an identifying in integ integrated circuit device or RFID transponder encased in silicate glass and implanted in the body of a human being. A uh, subdermal implant typically contains a unique ID number that can be linked to information contained in an external database, such as personal identification, medical history, medications, allergies, and contact information. So that's the definition of a microchip from a Wikipedia. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, when you go back to Revelation 13, and I'll read it real quick, 13 and 16, it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Verse 16, now that was 15. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or in his forehead. And, you know, as, as, you, as we've done many times before, when you go to the he, uh, Greek word for mark, the Greek word there is karagma, right, which is, which is a stamp and imprinted mark, right? When you go to the, uh, to the root, uh, root etymology of that, the word is karaks, which means a pale or stake, a palisade. In other words, 
where you, where you might mark your boundaries out. So that microchip marks the boundaries of 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 these devils, which is which is you people out there, right? But now when you go to that to the root word of of karax, it comes from the Greek word grapho, which means to write with reference to the form of the letters to delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment, paper, or other material. Because all the inf all your information is going to be in those microchips. The same way they are, you know, in the computer system. You know, because a microchip is pretty much just a, a, a miniature computer. You know? I mean, they, they store all your information on there. So, grapho is, which is one of the, the uh, root words, it means to write with reference to the form of the letters, to delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment, paper, or other material, to write with reference to the contents of the writing, to express in written characters, uh, to commit to writing things not to be forgotten, write down, record. So pretty much all your information is going to be on, on, that, on that microchip. And that's what they want because it makes it easier for them to track. That's why they used those gutter rats back in the, in, the, in the 1940s during World War II, and they put those numbers on them to be able to track them. They call it a tabulating uh, system, you know, they, they keep tabs on you. You know, and what they did was those numbers would tell where you were from, where you were born, if you were male, if you were female, and who your parents were, you know, and, and all, of, all of your information just on that card. But now they, they, they uh, moved it up uh, uh, through technology, which, which the, the uh, microchip came through the, through the tabulating system, you know. Now they got the microchip, you know, which, which they want to implant people with. You know, and then that way all they got to do is swipe you. That's why they have all this technology where they can they have facial recognition. You know, they can they can uh, uh, put a camera on your face and they'll know who it is. You could be walking through a, a crowded mall or a crowded subway or or a park or whatever, and they have cameras out. That's why they got so many cameras up, and that camera will, will recognize your face and say, Ooh, "Oh, he's right here, such and such, and this 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 place and the other." You know, because they they putting all this technology together to be able to track every 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 movement. You know, 1984, you know. Anyway, with that, we're going to close. And like I said, during this week, we're going to do a lot of, because um, we started late. A brother had a situation. He had to get a car worked on and had to get a wheel alignment. Before, well, before they had to get some work done on his car. And um, everything started late. You know, we all got together late. But, you know, that happens, you know. But we still did the show, you know. All praises to you, by Shimmy Shai. And uh, look out, you know, this week we're going to do a lot of shows. You know, matter of fact, I already know through the spirit that when we get down to the to the camp, you know, we're going to go into this, we're going to continue this uh, topic. You know, we're going to speak about this thing a lot because this this thing is uh, liter literally right around the corner. All right? Anyway, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom and um, keep watching and stay strong.